Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Day 11. Hard to believe. Day 11 of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. <clears throat> so excited about what God has uh, been doing, what he's been speaking. We are circling our Jerichos. We are reaching out and expecting God to do great things, and he is. He's answering prayer. He hears every prayer. Isn't that good to know? Aren't you glad his ear's not deaf? Aren't you glad he's not a million miles away? But as the old song says, he's as close as the whisper of his name. Hallelujah. So praise God. Lord God, we just enter into your gates again today with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We worship you. We honor you this morning. We thank you so much for your life in us, your love in us. <clears throat> oh, come on, everybody. If you're up this morning, your, his mercies are new every morning, every morning. New mercies today, whole brand new batch of them. Praise God. Thank him for that right now. Thank you, Lord, for the new batch of mercies. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for grace that is sufficient for us. Thank you, Father God, for receiving us as your own. Mm, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the... Lord God, that our relationship with you is so personal. And I just pray that right now for anyone watching or joining me right now. Just ask him, right? Thank you, Lord. Tell him, thank you, Lord, for this personal walk. Um, you know, you don't serve a magistrate. You don't serve a, a king that sits on a throne a million miles away. You serve a very personal God. Thank you, Father, for that, that, that personal touch that you offer each one of us, <clears throat> that he, he speaks to us in the form, uh, you know, of our personalities. He speaks to us, Lord, you speak to us uh, in the ways we understand it, <laughs> the ways that we relate the best. And so, Father, I just thank you this morning how personal our relationship is with you, how individual, though you are one God over all, so how unique and individual by the Holy Spirit that you are. And uh, thank you, Lord God, that, that, that you know how to speak to the brokenhearted. You know how to speak to uh, the strong. You know how to speak to the weak. You know how to speak to the prideful. You know how to speak and relate to uh, those that are, uh, you know, in great humility right now, Father God. You know how to speak to those, Lord God, who humble themselves under your mighty hand. And, Father, we just receive that, and we thank you for that unique, personal touch. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for people finding you today. Thank you, Lord God. You said that you would be found if we seek, if we knock, if we ask, if we continue to come and pursue you, pursue the things of the Lord, to pursue your heart, to pursue your mind and your thoughts. Father, I pray <clears throat> today, all day, Lord God, that that'll be our chief desire and our first reaction to everything that we come up against, every situation, circumstance, that it's the first thing. Holy Spirit, what are you saying? Lord Jesus, what are you doing? What do you want in this situation? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Um, hallelujah. You know, the, the Holy Spirit is so good at that. Jesus even said, you know, to the disciples when he dispatched them, he said, he said, you know, don't worry about what you take with you or money and all these things. And, and then don't even worry what you're going to say. <clears throat> I always like that. It's, it's, it's uh, powerful. Don't even worry about what you're going to say because the Holy Spirit will speak. He will put the words in your, in your uh, mouth. You know, I can't tell you the I don't know, thousands of times, I guess, by now that I've stepped into a pulpit to worship, to sing, to preach, to lead. And f the feelings, you know, 60 seconds before that happening, I may have a prepared sermon, but feeling like, Lord, I got nothing to say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't have it. You ever feel that way? I just ain't got it today, Lord God. I don't even know what it is when I do got it. But, um, you know, I, I'm always amazed when you feel like, you know, that insecurity, those, you know, the old, I used, you know, performers, the, the butterflies, the insecurity of God. 
uh, please do something, please say something, please produce something in me. And he always does. He always does. He's always got the words. He's always got the thoughts. He's always got the encouragement. He's always got everything that you need, everything that you need. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank him for that today. As we come into those gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise, thank him. We begin with worship and praise. Thank him for, the, for that. Father, we thank you, Lord, for always, always being enough and always being more than enough <clears throat> and always having exactly what we need and knowing what we need before we ask it. Doesn't mean we shouldn't ask for it, but thank God that you know he's already there. He's already arrived. He's already waiting. Thank you, Lord, that you're waiting for us today to acknowledge you and just anticipating anticipating your kids coming in and celebrating around your throne today. And we just do that. We do that this morning. We worship and we praise you. We glorify your holy name. Worthy is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. It certainly takes away my sin. Come on, thank him for that. What do we do? We come into that those gates with thanksgiving, you know, those courts with praise, and we come to the brazen altar, that bronze altar where sacrifice is made. Jesus, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for my salvation. Thank you for loving me, that, that you took that, that step and you gave yourself, every part of you, <clears throat> not even just your body, you gave your soul. You gave your life for me. Come on, thank him for that today. The blood of Jesus that is more than enough to forgive my sin. The blood of Jesus covers my imperfections, covers my weaknesses. The blood of Jesus heals my body. <clears throat> Forget not all of his benefits. Hallelujah. He forgives all of our sins. He heals all of our bodies. Psalm 103. Thank you, Lord God, for just healing. Mm. <clears throat> you need a healing today. Just thank him for it. Come on. Come on. Whatever it might be. Pain, arthritis. Diabetes, heart disease, uh, headaches. I just feel like the Lord may be just touching some heads. <laughs> Don't let me be too uh, flippant about that, but may he get in your head this morning uh, in many different ways. But Father, I pray right now for those that are maybe woke up with a migraine headache this morning, those, those that have woken up and tried to roll out of bed with pain, discomfort, Lord Jesus, <clears throat> those that have a uh, back pain, Father God, I just pray, Father, that you're relieving those symptoms. And we thank you that the altar is where that price was paid. The blood of Jesus over my body, over my physical body, over my emotional health, over my mental health, glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord, for the peace that passes all understanding. Oh, thank you that my mind is trained and stayed on you today, Father God. Thank you for the blood uh, that delivers me from bondages, delivers me from the chains of the enemy, the lies of the enemy. <clears throat> Come on, I'm going to pray right now. Father, I pray that you protect our ears from what we, in what we hear today, Father God. Protect our eyes, Lord, to give us uh, uh, sight, visual sight, Lord God, spiritual sight, not just physical sight. Lord God, protect our hearts that we will believe and never doubt. Our hearts won't be full of unbelief today, but our hearts will burn with fire, believing and trusting in your word, believing and trusting in your promises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for the blood. Such a sacrifice, such a sacrifice. Lord, we appropriate the blood of Jesus today over our lives. And God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you that we have the, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We put on the belt of truth. We take up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Uh, hallelujah. And we appropriate today the blood of Jesus. We appropriate what happened at that altar. <clears throat> now we come to that basin. Come on, tabernacle prayer. We come to that basin full of water. 
would pull, would, 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 the priest always had to prepare themselves for the, for the next step, for the inner court, for the then the holy of holies. So we wash our hands today. We wash our feet as the priest did. But we thank you that it's not done by human power or effort. But Lord God, it's done by the power of the Holy Spirit that we are cleansed and prepared for good works. We are cleansed and compared. I am cleansed and compared, uh, prepared today for good works, to enter into your holiness, to enter in to that place where you are. And I thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in my life, in your life today. Thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit to comfort, <clears throat> to counsel, to lead us into righteousness. Uh, the, Jesus said the Holy Spirit won't ever speak of himself. He'll only speak of me. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding us and always pointing us to Jesus, always pointing us to Jesus, reminding us, bringing Jesus <clears throat> up in our conversations, bringing Jesus up in our thought processes and decision-making today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, just thank him right now. Thank you. Wash us. Wash us with the water of the word. Oh, we thank you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I just thank I'm not ashamed of it. I don't know if some, some people are, but I'm not. I'm not ashamed of that, that beautiful gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm, I know you're not either. Father, I thank you for the prayer language that the Holy Spirit gives us. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for abiding in us. I thank you, Holy Spirit, Romans 8, that, that when we don't know what to pray or what we ought to pray, that you know how to pray. I thank you that our minds are made unfruitful when we pray in the Spirit because our minds can chase things and go places they don't need to go and can stress and worry and carry fear and carry doubt and unbelief and carry unneeded concern and weight. And so, Holy Spirit, thank you for lifting that off of every one of us today. That's a work of the Holy Spirit. That's a work of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for that baptism, that second sub, sub, uh, you know, subsequent experience of the Holy Spirit, that anointing that the Holy Spirit, it's not salvation. We do get the Holy Spirit when we're saved. The Lord takes up residency, but there is a baptism in the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> that kicks you into gear, that gives you boldness when the Spirit comes upon you. See, he was speaking to believers, you know that, don't you, when he said, go to Jerusalem and wait for the promise, wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So thank you, Lord, for baptizing us. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, as Paul said, thank you for us being filled Brand new. Our cups run over today, full of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> now, what do we do? We come to that first veil and we go into the inner court. <clears throat> and Father, I declare right now, come on, I'm declaring this for you. We are an inner court people. We are not outer court only. Too many Christians live their entire lives just staying in the outer court, never appreciating the inner court, never stepping in by faith into the, into the, into the meat of things. And, and what I mean by that is, is, um, you know, too many Christians, I, I've done this too, Many, maybe you have. All we do is stay in the outer court, praise God for praise and thanksgiving, but we're only dealing with our sin. And all we do is we come in and just, uh, I wake up today and I sinned all day yesterday and I can't kick these habits. I can't kick this anger issue. I can't let go of the baggage of yesterday. I can't let go of the burdens that I carry. I can't help it, Pastor. I've got fear all over me. I, I'm worried. I'm wringing my hands. I'm pacing the floor. I get it. I understand. But I'm going to tell you something. You don't have to stay there. You don't have to stay just in the outer court and just come and just say, well, here I am again for the blood of Jesus and and. Here I am again, Holy Spirit, fill me. And then that be it. <clears throat> there's more. Ladies and gentlemen, there's more. There's more. And so we go into the inner court. Declare right now, I'm an inner court person. I'm not satisfied with just remember. I'm thankful for the outer court. Got to have it. Got to go through the blood. Got to go by the Spirit. But I want to go into more. So, Lord, I thank you for the inner court. I see that lamp stand. 
Oh, those, those beautiful, that beautiful fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, you are the light of the world. You illuminate us. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Again, another work of the Holy Spirit, lighting our path, illuminating our way. Jesus, you are the light of the world, and in you there is no darkness. And if Jesus lives in you, then there is no darkness in you. So don't put up with darkness in you. Don't tolerate darkness, dark thinking, dark attitudes, dark, dark uh, thought processes. Don't, just don't do it. Stiff arm it. Keep it away from you. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. You, you have the light of the world residing on the inside of you. <clears throat> Therefore, you're not in the dark anymore. You don't have darkness in your heart. Oh, 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 oh no. What communion does light, light have with darkness? None. It only takes that little one, one candle to light that whole room of your heart up. So you, there's no darkness in your heart. Therefore, there doesn't have to be any darkness in your actions, in your words, in your deeds. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Thank you, Lord, for speaking through us today out of a heart that is illuminated by the light of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Light, life. Come on, hallelujah. Thank him for that. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. On the other side, just opposite of that lampstand, the candlesticks is the table of showbread. Guess what? Jesus is the bread of life. Hallelujah. There's always two loaves waiting there. We break the bread of the word today over our lives. We break the bread of the word. Thank you for the power of the word. I'm going back to my word. I got my word on my iPad today and I'm going to speak just the word. Come on, receive this. If this is you, I am the body of Christ. Satan has no power over me for I overcome evil with good. That's 1 Corinthians 12 and Romans 12. I am of God and have overcome him. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I will fear no evil for you are with me, Lord, your word and your spirit. They comfort me. I am far from oppression and fear does not come nigh me. That's for somebody right now. No weapon formed against me shall prosper for my righteousness is of the Lord, but whatever I do will prosper for I am like a tree that is planted by the rivers of living water. Isaiah 54 and Psalm 1. <clears throat> I am delivered <clears throat> Excuse me, from the evils of this present world for it is the will of God concerning me. Hallelujah. Uh, no evil, come on, you know this one, Psalm 91, no evil will befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling, no coronavirus, <clears throat> Lord God, no, no uh, uncontrolled pandemic is going to take me out, that's going to take my friends out, nope, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, for you have given your angels charge over me and they keep me in all of my ways, in my pathway, Proverbs chapter 12, in my pathway there is life and there is no death. Hallelujah. I am a doer of the word of God. I am blessed in my deeds. I am happy in those things which I do because I'm a doer of God's word. I take the shield of faith. I quench every fiery dart that the wicked one brings against me. Thank you, Lord. What are we doing? We're renewing our mind. We're washing with the water of the word again. We're, letting, we're, we're breaking the bread of the word today. What a great way to get started <clears throat> in prayer, reminding God. See, here's what he said about this. Come on, don't forget. God said, put me in remembrance of my word. Not because he's forgetful, but because we are. <laughs> and we are showing God, your word is that high and esteemed and valued in my life. Your word goes before we, me, shall not depart from before my eyes. It is healing and health. Oh, come on. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Yes, he has. So the Bible says, Therefore, I forbid any sickness or disease to come upon this body. I forbid every disease, germ, and virus that touches this body has to die instantly in the name of Jesus. I'm praying this by faith. Have I ever gotten sick? Absolutely. Have I ever gotten a cold? Yep, yeah, pick something up. I'm not saying, but you know what? I can take a position of faith ahead of it to say, Lord, not today. <laughs> uh, uh, not today. My 20-year-old my came home with a t-shirt the other day wearing it said, not today, Satan. <clears throat> so not today. Not today of the lies of the enemy. Not today. 
Every organ and every tissue of my body functions in the perfection to which God created it to function, and I forbid any malfunctions in this body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for healing again. Don't let any of us be sidelined by physical ailments, Lord God, unnecessarily that would cause us to not be able to serve you and uh, do the best that we can. Thank you, Lord, for that. I'm an overcomer and I overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony. The devil flees from me because I resist him in the name of Jesus. The word of God is forever settled in heaven. Oh, somebody get that. Psalm 119, 89. Therefore, I establish his word upon this earth. You are executors of the will of God. You are, there, there is power at work in you. You are the ones, we are the ones, I am the one, you are the one that appropriate and execute what is already in heaven and see it established and manifest in this earth. Declare the covenant of God that is established in heaven over your life. <clears throat> and I love this one. Great is the peace of my children, for they are taught of the Lord. Isaiah 54, 13. You think we're done? No. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed me from poverty. Christ has redeemed me from uh, spiritual death. Christ has redeemed me from sickness. Hallelujah. For poverty, he has given me wealth. For sickness, he has given me health. For death, he has given me eternal life. It is true unto me according to the word of God. Psalm 119, 25. I delight myself in the Lord. He gives me the desires of my heart. Psalm 37, 4. I have given, it is given unto me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over men give unto my bosom. Hallelujah. With what measure I meet, it is measured unto me. I sow bountifully, therefore I reap bountifully. I give cheerfully and God has made all grace abound toward me and I having all sufficiency of all things do abound to all good works. Works. Hallelujah. I can do what you've called me to do, God, because you provide. Thank you, Lord. There is no lack for my God supplies all of my needs according to his riches. His riches, not mine, not my lack. His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I have received the gift of righteousness and I do reign in this life by Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Come on, you know this one. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I am not in want of anything because Jesus was made poor that I through his poverty might have abundance for he came that I might have life and he came that I may have that life more abundantly. Do you believe that today, John 10, 10? Do you believe that today? Stand on it today. Hallelujah. The Lord has pleasure. This is the word. Marty's not making this up. Come on, some people can't handle these scriptures. You got to handle them. You got to get them deep down inside of you. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants and Abraham's blessings are mine. Hallelujah. How about for wisdom and guidance? The spirit of truth abides in me and teaches me all things and guides me into all truth. Mm, therefore, I confess I have perfect knowledge of every situation and circumstance that I come up against for I have the wisdom of God. We need wisdom. I trust in you, Lord, with all of my heart. I don't lean on my own understanding, but in all of my ways, I acknowledge you and you direct my paths. Hallelujah. The word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The Lord, I love this one. Man, I love this scripture. Memorize this one today if you don't have it. Psalm 138, 8. Psalm 138, 8. The Lord will perfect or bring into perfection everything that concerns me. I'm getting ready to shout at 7.40 in the morning. Come on, hallelujah. Wake the neighbors. Kick the dog, baby. Shut the front door. He said it. He promised it. The Lord will perfect that which concerns you. Mm. That is a promise. That is something to stand on today. <clears throat> I let the word of Christ dwell in me richly in all wisdom. I do follow the good shepherd and I know his voice, uh, John 10, and the voice of a stranger I will not follow. Come on, let's just pray that right now. Thank you for your voice speaking to us. Jesus is made unto me wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Therefore, I confess I have the wisdom of God and I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 
I am filled with the knowledge of the Lord's will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. I have put on, I have put off the old man. I've put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created me. Come on, that's the word. I receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him, the eyes of my understanding being enlightened, and I am not conformed to this world, but I am transformed by the renewing of my mind. My mind is renewed by the word of God. That is all scripture, folks. Marty's not making any of that up. It's all scripture, and it's not just for me. It's for you. Receive it. Speak it. I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. <laughs> I am his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God is formed within me. How about this one? For comfort, for strength. I am increasing in the knowledge of God. I am strengthened with all might according to his glorious power. I am delivered from the power of darkness and I am translated into the kingdom of his dear son. I am born of God. And I have world overcoming faith residing on the inside of me for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I thank you for that, Lord God. I'm telling you, the word of God coming out of your mouth, into your ears, building faith, building strength in your heart, changing your mind. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. I will do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know that one, Psalm 413, I mean, Philippians 413, right? The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keeps my mind and my heart in Christ Jesus and things which are good and pure and perfect and lovely and of good report. I think on these things. Those things that are praiseworthy are where my mind lives. Hallelujah. I let no corrupt communication proceed out of my mouth, but only that which is good to edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearer. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby I am sealed unto the day of redemption. No man shall take me out of his hand, for I have eternal life. I let the peace of God rule in my heart. I refuse to worry about anything. Come on, stand on that. I will not let the word of God depart from before my eyes, for it is life to me, for I have found it in his health and healing to all my flesh. God is on my side. God is in me now. Who can be against me? Hallelujah. He has given unto me all things that pertain unto life and godliness, and therefore I'm a partaker of his divine nature. Come on, shout about that one. <clears throat> shout about that one. Thank him for that one today. I am a believer, and these signs do follow me in the name of Jesus. I cast out demons, I speak with new tongues, and I lay hands on the sick, and they do recover. I believe that. Hallelujah. Jesus gave me the authority to use his name. That which I bind on earth is bound in heaven. That which I loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind the principalities, the powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world. I bind and I cast down spiritual wickedness in high places and I render them harmless and ineffective against me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> in the name <clears throat> of Jesus. And here's the last one today. I am complete in him who is the head of all principality and power for I am his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works that I should walk there in Ephesians 2.10. <clears throat> you are his workmanship today. You are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works. He created you well to do well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your word today. Thank you for this 714 prayer today. Thank you, Lord, that you keep us coming back for more. Sometimes when we don't even feel like getting up and starting, then the Holy Spirit just latches on to that first step of faith, that first cup of coffee, that, that first prayer that comes out of your mouth may feel like, oh, Lord, here I am. But boy, he, he responds. You take one step toward him, he'll take a hundred steps toward you today. I love you guys. Can't wait to see you tomorrow morning again, 714. Hallelujah.